Hi guys and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today I've got some Blizzard Pants by Helicontex, courtesy of Military First. Hi guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy my video today, please do like and subscribe because you will be really helping me out. So today I've got another gear uh, unboxing and uh, a little bit of a review. This is again courtesy of Military First. Uh, excellent retailer doing some amazing quality stuff and they have sent me the Blizzard pants that match to the Blizzard jacket um, that we had previously. So these have come in my size. Uh, they are obviously the matching set uh, and I'm really excited to see what these are like because I absolutely love the jacket and I love the alpha hoodie as well that went with it. Please do make sure you visit Military First. Uh, they always regularly have discounts on and things like that. Uh, brilliant retailer. I've been using them for years and years. So uh, nice packaging as you get before. Obviously telling you the blizzard pants. It's the outback line. Uh, obviously there's a patent on it and uh, general um, sort of warning about the bag I believe it is on the back so get this open now these come with um, an adaptive stretch on them as well which as you can see there there is that's actually really nice that and uh, I'm sure as a lot of airsofters will know particularly when you're crouching down getting in a firing position often at times the material of your trousers can sort of stick to your legs and things and uh, it ends up pulling your trousers down we end up with the mechanic style builders bum that kind of stuff it's not always helpful but this has got like what they call a storm stretch or an adaptive stretch in it to give it <clears throat> excuse me a little bit of stretch in there makes it comfortable now they are absolutely gorgeous um, first thing I've noticed they're quite big belt loops and that will take a 50 mil belt so if you wear one of the wider belts you've got to obviously chance there for some wider belts you've got what looks like reinforcement on these pockets here just because obviously they get caught a lot and things like that so they've put extra material on to reinforce them again it's all got a little bit of stretch in it which is quite nice they're quite deep uh, pockets in there I can get my I've got pretty big hands and my whole hand will go in that pocket which means it's good for wallet phone that kind of stuff you've got a push button and zip fly uh, which is obviously really good but then this absolutely fantastic feature I love this that is literally a mini belt so that just sits into there pulls tight and pulls so you've got an adjuster in there built in as well uh, for me that's brilliant because i always seem to sit oddly between sizes and things like that um so that being able to have that adjustment on there is fantastic for me now the actual waistline itself is feels like it's a little bit padded uh, it's definitely thicker material i'm guessing there is oh it's the actual belt itself of course it is come on fares it's so that's the belt through there but it gives it a nice sort of padded feeling to it it's cool, really, really nice actually. Uh, so you've got your two usual pockets. You've then got your two cargo pockets, which are really, really, really big. Uh, so you can get all sorts of manner of things in there. There is a little internal pocket. I'm pretty sure I could even get my uh, phone in there. My phone's pretty large. So have a look, I'm guessing that is. I've, yeah. So you've got vents just on. The back sort of round the side just onto the back of your your sort of your thighs you've got a vent there to ventilate your legs and let's face it when we're running around playing soldier in the woods with our toy guns we do get pretty hot and sweaty and things so they are useful to have just to help ventilate your legs particularly on warmer days and things like that because it's the blizzard stuff it is obviously windproof um so it's going to cut out sort of that wind getting penetrating through and, and sort of making you colder uh, and obviously it's um, waterproof as well to, to an extent shower proof I believe the term is that they use you've also got which is brilliant because this is often where my trousers get ruined on the inside on the ankles you've got reinforcement like a canvasy sort of um, material that's reinforced um, to take the abuse of obviously being between your boots or whatever it is when you're playing and things like that so they are really really nice uh, you've also got some little loops oh, that's brilliant uh, so you've got I'm more and more impressed with these as I look at them. So you've got a pull loop there, so you can pull your leggings tighter. Obviously, there's a cuff around your bottom of your leg. Now, I can only assume this is to hook onto laces onto your boots to keep it down as well, which that is an absolute... What a great feature. I've not seen that before. If other brands are doing it, I didn't know that, and I've never seen that before, but that's brilliant. That's impressed me no end. 
Um, so I've gone to do the back of the leg then, just coming around the back, you have got, oh, this is up at the top of the again, a little mini pocket there, you've obviously got the ventilation, uh, you've got what looks like a reinforced seat of your pants, um, you never know when the worst might happen and you want that to be reinforced. Uh, there's no other pockets, which is totally fine, obviously the vents on both sides, but there is loads of storage room in there. The knee pads are obviously reinforced as well, and the knee pads, I believe, are even more stretchy than the rest of it. So obviously when you're crouching, crouching down, it will nicely stretch over your knees and not start pulling up um, your trousers and everything. So labeling wise, we've got the blizzard pant, obviously just telling you it's made out of Versa stretch and storm stretch. Um, storm stretch canvas we fabric made of uh, polyamide. So it's obviously just telling you about the Versa text and the storm text storm stretch even uh, protects from stains the teflon coating on it and a ykk zipper so all in all a really nice solid pair of trousers so i'm going to cut it there and i'm going to go away and wear these for a couple of days uh, and uh, out with the dog you know kids that kind of stuff we are still in the middle of the lockdown at the minute uh, so i won't be able to use them but uh, the way the things my kids have me doing when we're out and walking, it's definitely as, as good a test as airsoft is. So I'll come back in a moment and I'll have been wearing these a few days and I'll give you my opinions on what I think. So here I am and it's been about sort of two and a half, three weeks since I got these. Uh, and I have absolutely just fallen in love with them, both as an everyday wear item, and I've worn them a lot, and as potential, you know, part of my, my future loadout, my kit and things, particularly in, in sort of autumn, winter months. Uh, these have been absolutely amazing. So obviously we're still uh, in the UK, uh, locked down and things. So I've been wearing these a lot, uh, out walking. Um, we've had some days that have been cooler, we've had some days that have been hotter. I've tended to not so much wear them on hotter days, although I haven't tried them on one hot hot day. And uh, I found what, one of my favourite features is that it doesn't stick. The material doesn't seem to stick to your skin when there's a layer of sweat in there. I know I, I apologise discussing my sweaty legs. Um, but basically the, the material didn't stick and I found that um, my old stuff that I've got, uh, particularly when I'm worn, will stick to my skin when I'm moving, kneeling down, things like that. And these just didn't do that. There was almost like a breathable element to it, which was really, really nice and re made it really comfortable. The stretch has been amazing. So on a few occasions, I've knelt down to put the dog back on the lead and things like that. And particularly the stretch in the knee panels, I'll just um, open that up. And get in there. The stretch on the knee panels, which are reinforced, is brilliant because it means that when you kneel down and your your knee goes goes out, um, traditionally what happens is your trousers end up coming up up your leg, exposing a little bit of leg or, or whatever. You know, we don't want to turn on other airsofters with a bit of exposed ankle or whatever. But these don't. The stretch allows them to stay perfectly in place, so it looks right and it stays down, keeping obviously your shins um, protected. You know, I'm sure most of you have caught a BB on the shin and it's not exactly a nice feeling mid-firefight when you catch a, a shin, uh, a BB to your shin. Not quite as bad as catching it on your ears when it's cold though, that is the worst. Um, they've just been absolutely fantastic. The built-in belt allowing you to adjust it is fantastic. Uh, on one afternoon I did go walking and just kept it on the pestered only and you know, despite my sort of, let's say weight gain during COVID-19 lockdown, um, that press stud did not come undone. It stayed really tight, locked in there, despite me putting a little bit of pressure against it. Um, it's just, the pair of trousers have been brilliant. The amount of storage space that's on there is absolutely fantastic. I've gone out with my phone, my keys, uh, my wallet, some stuff for the kids, you know, a pack of wet wipes, um, the dog's lead, some toilet dog bags for cleaning up after my dog. There's loads of storage in there. Um, and I, I'm really, really excited to actually try them out in a sort of an airsoft combat uh, environment and get them warm. The fit is absolutely lovely. I am definitely a 36 inch waist and these are definitely a 36 fit, possibly slightly larger size. Um, you know, the, the belt loops are nice and solid. The fact that you don't even need the belt loops because you've got a built-in belt, unless you're gonna run accessories on a belt like a, a, a holster on a shooting belt or something like that. You know, these are absolutely perfect. The, the trousers themselves are just so well built and, and every time I get a new piece of Helicon gear stuff, I kind of 
fall more in and more in love with what they're doing and the quality of it. You know, the reinforcement, a lot of my old kit that I've had and got rid of, you know, have become damaged around the pockets from going in and out for things and, and bits and pieces. They've reinforced them. The knees uh double get my hand in there. You know, it's two pieces of material there, it's reinforced, it's absolutely solid, both a stretchy material. The cuffs around the bottom are like a, a, a stronger, tougher canvassing material. You've got hooks to be able to hook it down on, onto your boots and things to keep it down. You've got pull uh, pull tight, pull straps to tighten it around your ankles. They've clearly thought about the, the market and obviously, although an airsoft isn't the primary market for these, um, you know, they're thinking more sort of um, military services, police services, that kind of thing. They are so brilliant and, and particularly for an airsofter, they're going to make a fantastic pair of trousers. Um, now, what I would say is, usually, like in the other videos, I would send you the video, uh, the, I put all the photos at the end. What I'm going to say is, I'm not going to do this because it looks like some sort of semi-inappropriate photo shoot and it mostly just looks like Fez is showing off his crotch or showing off his backside in these trousers and I am sure the world does not need to see my crotch or my butt on showing these trousers you really don't um it just you know I'm laughing about it. It, it even my wife thought it was absolutely hilarious no matter what we tried we couldn't get photos that looked genuine so you will have to take my word that they are really, really comfortable. They fit lovely, and I don't want to upset the world by releasing bordering on inappropriate photos of me wearing these trousers. Uh, and anybody that's envisioning me dressed up like Putin, topless wearing these, that is not how it went down at all. It was definitely all cammed up and stuff, um, but we just couldn't make the photos work properly. So I'm going to not bother with the photos on this occasion. But in future, when I do full loadout photos, because um, I've got a few videos in the work for coming up in the future, then you will be able to see them, uh, and I will obviously make comments about them in that video. Um, so if you're looking for a good quality pair of trousers that's not just for airsoft, but for everyday use as well, I literally could not recommend these highly enough. They've been absolutely fantastic for me. Thank you to the guys at Military First for sending these over to me to review. Really, really appreciate that. I've put a link to these trousers in the description below and a link, more importantly, to Military First um, for you to go and have a look around their store as well. Great guys, regularly got deals on as well. Absolutely fantastic. Um, if this has been useful, please do make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.